Hey YouTube, welcome back. In this episode on sci-fi technology again, today we are talking about subspace communication, which is faster than light communication. And this also explains why enterprise does not experience lag and can have an interactive conference and communication with other ships and Starfleet Command. So without further delay, let's dive in. All right, so let's look at parts of this system. First off, it uses subspace radio, transmitters and subspace relays to communicate. And these coupled with subspace radio aboard ships and space stations and also planetary surfaces, they help with this mode of faster than light communication across vast distances. Sounds easy, doesn't it? Well, the main idea of this subspace or bulk or hyperspace does occur in physics and science. And the general concept of such theories is that our world is restricted to a brain in higher dimensional space called the bulk. As you can see here, brain cosmology refers to several theories in particle physics and cosmology related to string theory, super string theory, and M theory. The concept of Trek, where it uses subspace around faster than light, seems to work closely with what is shown here. The normal space lies on top of a more exotic subspace that gets more and more dense as we go deeper. There are also thresholds of energy required to go across various layers. These energies, once overcome, will allow the speeds available at that level. And the speeds get higher and higher as you go deeper and deeper into this funnel. Now, accordingly, <clears throat> if we consider Kardashev scale, which defines how much a civilization's advancement relates to its use and harnessing of energy, a type 1 civilization is able to access all the energy available on its planet and store it for consumption. It should be able to control natural events such as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, etc. A type 2 civilization, on the other hand, can directly consume a star's energy, for example, for us to be able to harness all the energy of the sun, maybe using Dyson Sphere. A type 3 civilization is able to capture all the energy emitted by the galaxy and every object within it, such as a star or even a black hole. So it tells you that um, thinking about subspace and ability to go at such high speeds does require circumventing the laws of physics, which then requires us to be able to manipulate energy consumption and its use. And that is what takes civilization to the next level and the level beyond. Well, subspace communication might, might look like this. There might be a channel which is going over some subspace level and the subspace radio, whether it's in a relay or a starship, is able to open this channel and be able to communicate over distances to either a relay or the far distance endpoint. The signal that is going into this channel might need considerable amplification to overcome the drag in these distances and passing over the subspace. Also, the device that transmitter or the device that opens this channel might need considerable energy to be able to open and keep the channel open to be able to transmit this. Now, as an extension, it is conceivable that subspace extends across our universe and connects to some other space, parallel space. Here's another view of how this might happen. And there are references here if you want to read further about it. It is hard to grasp what kind of particles and waves especially the radio waves or subspace radio waves that are used across this communication. Especially knowing that in the modern physics theory, the gravity waves can propagate through bulk 
whereas electromagnetic and nuclear forces are confined to the surface or the brain. And so here's a view of it where some of the particles and waves can cross, whereas others are stuck to the surface or the brain and therefore they cannot be used for communication. So it boggles my mind to think about what kind of waves and particles are being used in this communication. If you have come across any episode where you think there's some interesting mention of this, please leave me in some comments here. All right, so now we have come to the end of this episode. Subspace is a very complex physics at the heart of Star Trek world. Let me know your thoughts about subspace communications or subspace in general in some comments. Again, if you have not done so, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.